I say, you look more learned than some of these other wizards I see running around here. I'm Airedale Guthrie, and it's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, you're interested in the early Safarian mythos, too? Fascinating material, isn't it? I'm doing research for the Royal Museum. I might be willing to share my insights. Now, wait, wait. You're a friend of Jackie's. Oh, of course, then. The cave paintings are just in here. I was about to go in and study the paintings, but one has come to life and it's quite hostile. If you'll deal with it, well, we have a deal.
So, wizard, come closer now. These cave paintings are sure to be less hostile and more informative. Fascinating. As I suspected, these paintings reveal just how superstitious the ancient Safarians were. Not only did they believe an old evil spider was imprisoned underground, they thought his children would someday rise and destroy the spiral. Here we have the Scorpion, a master alchemist and ruthless warlord, prophesied to rise from the desert sands and steal the sun. This this is the Bat, a brilliant shape-shifting vampire, a master of illusion and subterfuge, and with a heart as black as night. And last, the Rat, eldest of Spider's children, a mad creature of corrupting influence. He steals into men's minds and makes them his puppets. Can you imagine? <laughs> they actually believed in this hogwash. What? What? Was it something I said? That's all you needed? <laughs> all right, give Jackie my regards. Uh, oh, wait, no, you were going to Zafaria. That's right! Yes, did Airedale help you? Oh, good. I'll have to send old Airedale. Thank you, no tomorrow. Or maybe next week. Right now, I have to find this book about spiral astrobiology. Oh, the cave paintings! Yes! You learned about spiders' children? That's great! You should go tell Baba Yaga right away. Now, where was I? work with Jackie. Sometimes hard to follow, isn't she? <laughs> but sometimes there's wisdom in her madness. So you discovered Rasputin's true nature, the rat, eh? A puppet master? That sounds fitting. <laughs> but what is the rat's plan in Polaris? I believe it's the Borealis gemstones that are the key. Why was he mining them? We know they're magic, but what kind of magic? I gave a small Borealis gem to our fire scholar, Ignis Ferric. Go to the Hall of Pyromancy and see if Ignis has been able to glean anything from it. Ha <laughs> ha! It warms my heart to see a fresh face. The other scholars can be gruff at times, as you may have noted. I've been examining the Borealis gemstone Baba Yaga gave me. It's a wonderful little rock. Very rare and very magical. Unfortunately, it's too small for me to really determine its properties. Luckily, though, legends speak of a similar gemstone from Mirage. It's called the Desert Star, once the crown jewel to the first sand sultans, but lost long ago. 
I think we might learn a great deal from it. Kisma, our death scholar, is from Mirage. She has been researching the Desert Star's current location. She can help you recover it. It is a privilege to meet you, Initiate. I am Kizma Shaza, Amira of Paraj, and Liwan of the Silent Sabers. You may simply call me Kizma. I have heard whispers of your accomplishments, and I salute your magical prowess. I am honored to help you recover the Desert Star. The gemstone is from a bygone age when Mirage was united in peace and purpose. Today, it is ruled by petty warlords who squabble over empty sands. It seems the Desert Star was taken from Mirage many centuries ago by ancient Celestian researchers who promised to return it but never followed through. It was left inside an ancient research lab in Celestia's District of the Stars, where it remains to this day, deep beneath the risen waters. If you go there, I believe you will find the Desert Star. You may then take it to Ignis for study. Stay strong, Initiate. I hope our paths cross again. 